Hi, this is Sweet June. How's everybody doing today? I'm coming back at you with another interesting topic. Beautiful day here in Michigan. Beautiful day here in Michigan. I don't think it was almost up to 60 degrees. That's beautiful here in Michigan. Was able to make it out in field service today. So that was a blessing because I actually haven't been out in field service in a while. So I consider myself blessed. That's a blessing that um, I actually got up and was able to go. But I told a sister that usually when I make a commitment, when I make an appointment with someone to meet with them, she said, you going to go out with me? I said, okay. I told her I was going to go out with her Thursday morning, but she had an appointment. So um, she said Thursday afternoon. I said, okay. So I made that commitment. And when I, I don't like to go back, I like to be a woman of my word and say, well, I, when I say I'm going to do something, I like to stick with it, you know. I don't like to go back on my words, so I, you know, I, I made that appointment with her. So when I make an appointment with someone to go out and field service, I try to stick to it and try to be committed to it. And so I'm glad I did because we had a blessed time. We got our memorial coming up. We have our annual memorial coming up um, where we commem we commemorate uh, Jesus, the death of Jesus Christ, where everybody else is celebrating the resurrection. We're acknowledging his death. So. Um, so we're in the process of, of doing the campaign work for that. So that's coming up. And I'll, if you guys look back at my archives, I did a video talking about that last year as to why we, um, you know, because um, the death, Jesus Christ's death had a lot of importance um, because before he had, it, before he got resurrected, he had to die first. So um, he, and he died, um, his father, Jehovah God, um, he gave his only begotten son so that we could have everlasting life. So um, if it wasn't for his sacrifice, we wouldn't have a chance to, to, to have everlasting life. We wouldn't have a chance to do that because Adam and Eve, if you remember when they were, when Eve took the bite of the fruit, she was disobedient. And so um, it, it not only messed them up, but it meant we're the descendants of Adam and Eve. So it messed everybody up. So, because we serve a just God, he didn't feel like that was fair, you know, for us to suffer for something that they did. So he, he gave us a chance through Jesus' death. He gave us the opportunity to buy back what they lost. So anyway, um, that's not what this video is about. But I just wanted to let you guys know. I had a blessed time out in service day. Anyway. I want to talk about something that's just kind of bothered me. I wasn't going to do a video today, but um, something is, is bugging me, and I got to get it off my chest. I noticed that. I know they said Cardi B um, just got in trouble. Uh, she's under fire right now because they she has a video out of... of um, her saying that um, she used to, before she became Cardi B, the uh, rapper or whatever it is that she does, I'm not a fan, but um, before she blew up, basically before she blew up and became successful like she is now, um, she said she used to strip. She used to be a stripper and she used to um, drug men because um, most oftentimes strippers, they prostitute on the sides. Most majority of them, um, not saying all of them, but a good portion of them, they they prostitute on the side. You, typically, those two professions go hand in hand because stripping is a form of prostitution. Um, and um, you typically, uh, they prostitute on the side to make extra money. And so she said she was a stripper and then she used to prostitute on the side and she used to drug, she said she used to drug old men um, and drug them and then take their money. Well, right now she's under fire because, well, Bill didn't Bill Cosby just go to prison for doing the same thing, for allegedly doing the same thing, drugging women and having sex with them? Well, Bill Cosby's sitting in prison right now for doing the same thing. So when I first heard that, I said, ah, oh, arrest her. That's the same thing. <laughs> so they got her on video. She didn't do this video just recently. She did it a while back. So they got her on video basically saying that she 
drug used to drug guys and she was saying and basically she was saying that um I, 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 you know, making excuses for it, basically. When I, when I only did what I had to do to survive, that's what I had to do to survive. That's what I want to talk about. That's, this is what I'm going to talk about. Um, I, I'm hearing, and now I'm listening to this video. Um, that's a kind of common narrative. I hear a lot of young ladies say that. And over the years, I've heard, I, I know, I know about you guys, but I used to watch now, don't judge me. I used to watch, many years ago, I used to watch um, Pimps Up and Holes Down or whatever that show is that come, came on HBO years ago. Years ago, I used to watch that show um, about the prostitutes, you know. Um, and then uh, it was a common narrative. I used to hear quite a few of them say, um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this because I got to do it, you know. I'm trying to support my family, you know. I'm trying to support my kids. Or whatever. I'm just out here because I gotta do. This is what I gotta do. And I'm, I'm, I'm hearing. I, this is a common narrative of a lot of women. That's they're saying that they have to. They they gotta strip because they're doing what they gotta do to survive, or they gotta prostitute because they're doing what they have to do to survive. Um, that's disturbing to me. And then I'm watching this young this 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 young man on. I just started watching Langston. His name is Langston. Some got some numbers after his name here on YouTube. He, the brother is deep. The brother is deep. I gotta give it to him. He deep. I was just listening to his video, and basically what he was saying was the truth. He was telling the truth, but he was talking about uh, white the how black men are uh dis disregard black women that, that we're totally disregarded um and that they put the white women up and he was he was basically saying that they put the white women up and then the black women he's saying the black women raised them and the black women has got to go out here and he said he said basically he said white white women whore because they want to black i'm not gonna tell you everything he said but he said black women whore because they have to and that that's the part i had a problem with when he said black women whore because they have to, they strip and everything. So he basically, he basically said the same thing. He said that black women are out here. Um, and, and I'm not, that's, I'm just using his words. Black women out here whoring because they have to. That's the, that's the problem that, I, that's the, the, when he said that, that's what I had a problem with. That's what prompted me to come do this video because I'm like, okay, I'm hearing this common, this common narrative. That a lot of a lot of women be 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 steady saying that. I've noticed a lot of women be hollering that. They be hollering that uh, I got to strip because this is what I got to do, or I got to prostitute because this is what I have to do to make money. And so I'm thinking, after I'm hearing this, I'm thinking, you know, I'm no better than anybody else. Just because I'm a witness, I'm still a human being. I'm no better than anybody else. Ain't nobody no better than anybody out here. We all on the, we all, all of us are dust. The Bible says we're dust. We're all dust. We're all on the same level. Ain't nobody no different. I always tell people, um, cause people, people, um, things that, you know, seem to try to put Christians on the pedestal or they think we put ourselves up on a pedestal. And I always tell people, you know what? We just as messed up as everybody else. The only difference is that we try really, really hard to live by Bible standards. We we try harder to get it right. We we try hard, really hard to do it right. We try really hard to please God. That's the only difference. When we weak, we call on God. When you weak, you might go get some um some smoke and some alcohol or whatever. When we weak, we we cry out to God. But and we try harder because we love them. We want to try to please them. And so we try really, really, really hard. But we're just as messed up as everybody else. That's 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 the most honest, candid answer that I can ever give someone when I tell them I'm a witness and they want to try to think that we're, we're better than... No, we're not. I said we're just as messed up as everybody else. The only difference is that we try really hard. And that's the God's honest truth. We try harder to please God and to live by Bible standards and to and to call on him in a time of need. 
You know, we've learned to do that and, and to Bible train our conscience. So that's, you know, that's a work in progress. You ain't never going to be done doing that. But um, that's the only difference. But I, I look at that and I, I, I say that's interesting because I'm no better than than you are. I'm no better than I'm on. I'm, you know, and I used to be before I became a witness. I was in the world at one time. I didn't get baptized until I was in my 30s. Now, maybe 40s. I started studying when I was in my 30s. So I was in the world for a very long time before I converted. Okay, so, but when I was in the world, when I think, take my mind back to when I was in the world, I don't recall being on someone's pole or I don't recall being a prostitute, selling my body to earn money to take care of my kids. I don't remember going to the strip club when I was in my 20s and stripping on the strip pole so I can support my son, which at the time I just had my oldest. So when I think back, when I take my mind back to my 20s, I don't remember going to anyone's strip club. I don't remember selling my body for sex so I can make money to support me and my son. I don't remember doing those things. So my thought is if I didn't do, if I didn't have to do those things, and I still managed to keep a roof over our, my, me and my son's head. I still managed to keep food in the house. Yeah, I got a little help from the state, but the state didn't do everything. Uh, I still managed to buy clothes for my son. It was a struggle. I struggled and, and um, had some really, really hard, rough times over the years. But... Somehow, by the grace of God, I managed to keep a roof over our head. I managed to keep clothes on our back. Um, I managed to keep food in the house, even though sometimes it was very, very, times were very tight. You know, I managed to uh, keep all the utilities and things going in the house. And I don't recall not one time that I had to lay on my back in order to get the money to pay for any bills in my house or put any clothing on my kids' backs or put any food on my table. I don't recall having to do any of those things in order for us to survive and maintain. And it was a struggle it was a struggle. But I don't recall having to do any of these things. And you know why I didn't have to do them? Because I put my trust and faith in Jehovah God. Even before, even before when I was in the world, I still was a believer and I prayed. And I put my faith and trust in God. So I didn't have to do any of those things. And you know, I, I, I think, so I, I, I have a problem. I just have a problem with women saying, I, I, I have to strip because I had to do what I had to do to survive. You, why is it that you feel like you have to do what you have to strip in order to survive? When I didn't have to strip in order to survive. I know a whole lot of other women out here that did the same thing I did. They went out and they grinded, worked. And they and they and they trust they put their trust in God to support their kids and they ain't they ain't went to nobody's strip club. They I know a whole lot of other females that's just like me. They worked hard to take care of their kids and they, they didn't have to um they didn't have to degrade themselves to go out here and lay on their back for some man or go out to somebody's strip club and strip. So I think at the end of the day, it's an excuse. It's a common narrative. I, I'm, I'm noticing a lot of females that be saying that. It's an excuse. I know strippers make a whole lot of money. They have a couple strip clubs here. I know they have a strip club in my city 
that I... <laughs> I used to have to drive past it every night when um, my daycare lady lived over in the area where the strip club was, and I used to drive past it every night, and and um, they, they had a car out there, you know, this strip club actually has a car where they'll come get the men, they'll come pick you up and take you to the strip club. <laughs> I ain't never seen that before in my life. Where well, they have a car, where they they have a car to come get you to take you to the strip club. But they got a couple of them here in town, where I, where this city I live in, they got a couple of them here. And um, and 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 women, um, I, I I guess allegedly women make quite a bit of money in these places. I don't know. I've never done it. I don't know. But I hear, um, I hear that women make quite a bit of money doing that that you could make more money than you would working an average, a regular job, you know? And so I think at the end of the day, well, I don't know about prostituting because crackheads that messed up the game for <laughs> a whole lot of women out here. And I think in just about every city, um, well, mo mainly your smaller cities. I think the crackheads that messed up the game out here as far as prostitution, because, you know, they're not finna pay you no fifty to a hundred dollars to do something that they can get for ten or fifteen dollars. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so you know the crackheads that messed up the game for a lot of women out here as far as that, you know. But um um I, I think what it is is an excuse. It's an excuse. Um it I, it just it's it's just irritates me to hear women say that's what I had to do to survive what it is is that let me tell you what they're not willing to do they're not willing to wipe booties they're not willing to flip hamburgers they're not willing to ring up groceries or other items they're not willing to clean hotel rooms They're not willing to scrub toilets and scrub floors. They're not willing to do those things. That's, that, that's what they're not willing to do. And because they're not willing to do those things, they'd rather go out there and, and completely degrade themselves. I don't know why they think there's more dignity than stripping and stripping and prostituting than there is wiping, wiping cleaning toilets and wiping booties. You know, I don't I don't know why they think there's more dignity in that. But that's I think that's what it is. When it comes down to it, it's just an excuse. It's an excuse. It's an excuse to justify why I'm a stripper or why I'm a prostitute. But that just it just kills me. I'm I had to I had to address it because it just kills me when women say that. Because I said that's interesting because I've never had to do that. And I've survived all these years. You know, it's been, a, I struggle, I struggle, and I, I, we had some really close calls there, but it's, it's mighty funny, I ain't never had to go strip to the strip club, I ain't never had to go prostitute or stand on nobody's corner or sell, sell my body in order to get money to, to uh, pay my bills and stuff, I said, it's mighty funny, I've never had to do those things. So I said, that's, that's interesting how you say you had to do it. How come I didn't have to do it? And you're no better, and I'm no better than you are. You know? <laughs> See, and, and, and what it is, it's, it's an excuse. I would, have way, I would have a lot more respect for these women if they would just say, well, you know, really, that's what I wanted to do. I, I, I stripped because I wanted. Now, some of them do say that. Some of them will say, well, I went to strip. Because I want to do it. It's, it's, it's a whole lot more money than working a regular job. And um, I make a whole lot more money. And I, I enjoy doing it. And, you know, I want to do it. You know? On, on, the, on the movie, on that show, Holes Up and Pimps Down or whatever used to come on HBO. Some of them was on there saying, I enjoy it. That it you know? So I, I have more respect for a woman that just come on, just, just keep it real and come on clean and say, well, I'm doing it because I want to do it, because I I, I I want the money. It's more money in it than working a regular job, and I enjoy doing it or whatever. I have more respect for that than a, women, a woman saying, 
Oh, I just, this is what I had to do to pay the bills. Huh? You got a drug old man. And I'm not trying to judge Cardi B, but I just have an issue with her, with her saying that. You got a drug old men and steal their money after having sex with them or whatever, whatever it is that she done with them. You you willing to drug drug old men? You had to drug old. You had to do it. You had to drug them and steal their wallets. Well, it's mighty funny. I ain't never had to do nothing like that. I ain't never had to, to drug a man and steal his wallet. I've never had to do stuff like that in order to make money to support my family. And that's because I was willing to scrub toilets. I was willing to wipe booties. I was willing to uh, flip hamburgers. I was willing to clean rooms. I've done all those things, all of them. I was willing to work in someone's house. Okay, even though I feel like a maid, they made. I was willing to do that. I just did that this summer when I was doing home care. I, I had some rich clients that I was working for. Well, I say they was rich. They they lived in the rich neighborhood. I mean, they you know, they might not have been rich, but you know, they had a whole lot more money than what I had. And um, they had a beautiful home and um. I had to assist the, the wife, husband and wife. I had to assist her with her uh, washing up and bathing. And then I, in, in the process, I cleaned, you know, I washed, I did laundry. Um, you know, I would do some cleaning and stuff like that. And I felt like I was the maid. Okay. I'm going to keep it 100. <laughs> I felt like I was the maid. And, you know, it's, it's that stigma. It's that stigma, um, you know, Black black women working for white people is is you know they were they were my clients, but it's that stigma you know this that stigma's there you know, so that was just this past summer. Okay, this past year, just re this recently, not too long ago. Okay, but I but I've done that. Clean 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 houses clean houses. You know, white booties, clean toilets, bathe people. I'm doing that now. You know, uh, clean houses, you know, scrub floors, uh, you know, mop floors, sweep floors and all that, all that clean, all the, all the cleaning stuff. I do all that now on the job that I have now. Okay. Clean up poop, all that. It's because they're not willing to do those things. They're not willing to do those things. See? It's because they're out there on the stripping pole. Or they're prostituting. Selling their body. It ain't because they gotta do it. You ain't got to do nothing like that when you a female. Because it's mighty funny. I didn't have to do it. And I know a whole lot of females off the top of my head that ain't never had to do it. It's because they're not willing to get out here and grind and do whatever they have to do. They're, they say it's dignity in any work. As long as that, that work that you're doing does not degrade you, does not make you less than. And most importantly, importantly it doesn't destroy your relationship with God. Or if you don't have a relationship with God, it doesn't, it's not going to, it's not going to help you build a relationship with God. You know, it's not going to um, ruin your reputation, ruin your, strip you of your dignity and your self-respect. That's what those kind of things, that's what those kind of jobs do for women. And people look down on, on you. For the rest of your life. If you say. If a woman stopped being a prostitute. And she says. I used to be a prostitute. Well, people kind of look down on her. It carries you for the rest of your life. It's a stigma. That, it, that carries you for the rest of your life. And so. when I've seen this video. With Cardi B got on here saying. I did whatever I had to do. I said wait a minute right there. I have an issue. I have a serious problem with women saying 
they got to prostitute. They got to strip. I, this is what I got to do. No, you ain't got to do nothing but stay black and die. Okay? That's what you got to do. Stay black and die. You ain't got to do nothing. I didn't have to go out here and do it, and I'm no better than you are. See? Because at the end of the day, we got to put our trust in God. You know, I put my trust in God. And God made a, Jehovah God made a way. He made a way. I, there's times when I didn't know, you know, how I was going to get a bill paid or whatever. But Jehovah God made a way. He made a way. I had some serious close calls over the years. But Jehovah God always came through and he always made a way. I didn't have to go out there and sell my body to somebody. I didn't have to go out here and get on somebody's strip pole. That'd be just like a, a young black male saying, I got to sell drugs. No, you ain't got to sell drugs. You choose to sell drugs. It's the same. It's the same difference. No, you ain't got to do that. You choose to do that. Because you want that fast money. But there's a lot of consequences come with fast money. We all know that. You either going to wind up dead or in prison. It's going to either, it's one or two narratives. I tell both of my sons that. I tell both of them that if they even try to think about it, you, it's two ways you're going to end up. If you do that, it's going to either, you're going to well, either wind up dead or in prison. Take your pick. Ain't no such thing as easy money because that money going to come with a price. And it's a price nine times out of ten, you ain't going to want to pay. So, but that's what, sometimes they make those excuses, those guys out dealing drugs. I'm only doing this because I have to do it. No, mm -mm. that's an excuse because there's a lot of black men out here and I know a whole lot of them off the top of my head too. There's a lot of black men out here, they grinding. They're working in the factories. You know, they're doing what they got to do. If they got to flip hamburgers. My son, my oldest son is working two jobs right now. He flipping hamburgers at Burger King. He's a manager at Burger King. And then when he leaves there, he goes to the factory. I'm real proud of my oldest son. My youngest son is in the factory right now. He's go, he go, he... He, he worked at Mickey D's and he went from Mickey D's to Burger King. Now he's he's at the factory. He's well, This is like his third or fourth factory. But, you know, they have a whole lot of them in this city that I'm at. But, yes. Okay. So, if you're out there dealing drugs, it's because you want that fast money and you're not willing to work in a factory. You're not willing to flip hamburgers or do whatever you got to do to take care of your family. But my thought is don't make excuses for it. If that's what you're going to do, don't make excuses for it. That's the point I'm trying to make. I just hate it when females say that. I strip because this is what I have to do. No, you do it because you want to do it. We have choices. Okay? I got I have a whole lot more respect if you say, "Well, I, I like to I like to strip and you know it, it it's more money you know I, I like the money that I get that that, that I can make that I, I can make a whole lot more money doing stripping than I can working a regular job I, I have more a whole lot more respect for that you're being honest at least you're being honest okay but don't say you got to do it no don't say you I'm doing this because I got to do it no because I know females that work two and three jobs. Okay, I've worked two jobs at one time. And I'm not afraid to work two jobs again. Okay. So I, I, that's, that's just an excuse. At the end of the day, it's just an excuse. You don't have to degrade yourself to, 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 uh, to pay bills. And, and they don't have no trust in God. They're not putting any trust in God. You know, so that was just that I had to talk about that because that was that was what I was like, wait a minute now, 
And I went, when I watched his video, I was like, when he said it, I'm like, he, the brother was making some good points. But then when he said that, I said, wait a minute. I'm not out here doing these things. Black women ain't what black women ain't gotta do that. I said that's where he's wrong. Black women ain't gotta do that. Black women don't have to do that to survive. You know. And a lot of times the men do walk away, the fathers do walk away, but the but sisters ain't gotta do that. Because God makes a way. Jehovah God makes a way out of no way. Okay? That's what I wanted. I, I had to address that because, you know, I watched that video with Cardi B saying that. I'm like, wait a minute. What she mean she had to do that? She ain't had to do that. You ain't had to drug old men and steal their money to make it to survive. I had to do what I had to do to survive. No. You work at Burger King to, or Mickey D's to survive. You know, you work at the gas station or Dollar General or whatever, the Dollar Tree or or or, or a Walmart or or wherever, you do that to survive. You wipe booties or you do what you got to do to survive, okay? That's what you do to survive, okay? Or you get you a nice little legitimate high uh, side, side hustle. Like some women, I have a friend that she's really good at braiding hair, and that's her little side hustle. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at it, so... I can't do that as a side hustle, but I got, I got, I know another woman that does nails on the side. Okay. That's her little side hustle. So I, there's some sisters out here that know how to braid real good. They know how to do nails. That's their little side hustle. They got, they, 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 uh, nine to five, so to speak. Oh, um, you know, where they, where they punching in the punching the time clock. And then they got their little side hustle on the side where they make a few extra coins. Okay, so um, and, and, it, and it doesn't involve being on someone's strip pole and it doesn't involve laying on your back, you know, or stealing, drugging men and stealing from them. You know, it's still dignity. It's a legitimate, dignified hustle. So that's 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 all good, too. So. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh. -uh. That's, that's just an excuse. At the end of the day, it's just an excuse. I'm just really tired of females saying that. So I just wanted to put that out there. If somebody needs to hear this, maybe there's somebody out there that needs to hear this message. You're doing it because, let's be honest, you're stripping because you want to strip. You're hooking because you want to hook. Not because you have to do it. No female has to be a prostitute, okay? No female has to be a stripper. Okay, come on. Okay. <laughs> I got some more interesting, that being said, I got some more interesting video topics coming up. Please stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe. Um, I got some more interesting video topics coming up. Peace and love and God bless. This is Sweet Jean.